welcome back to my channel it's me again San I hope all of you are doing all okay so today I'm just going to do a simple vlog this video is gonna be about the latest update when you take when you are going to take B1 exam there's some little bit changes because I only want to make this video because some of you watch my my video on how to pass b1 exam so this will this video will gonna help you so let's start talking about how to book it still the same process you still have to book it online choose where is the location you want to take your exam if it's suitable on you of course the nearest is much better and you have to choose what time you want to take your exam and pay online as well the fee for this exam is still the same 150 pound and once you once you book your exam online they will send you a confirmation email and then you have to open it and then confirm it and they will send you as well the topic form that you will be needed when you going to take your exam so of course when that day comes that you're going there and then you have to prepare you have to prepare yourself and watch some online videos what to expect but this time there's some changes they made I'm not sure if it's gonna be all around UK but I have a friend of mine she had her some recently and she told me that there's some changes so these changes I'm going to tell you now of course when you arrive there you have to provide your identification ID take your passport that's the best thing so there's no other you know like IDs you have to show just your just your passport and then you have to wait for your turn and when you're going to take your exam this is gonna be a video call not face-to-face -face exam it's basically conversation through video call it's not like before you know and what do you call this I'm sure you're going to give your topic form to the examiner so they will check it he will check it and he will decide what topic he will ask but first of course he will ask you what's your name and where are you from and how long you've been here something like that it's just a simple question and then when you when you finish your exam you don't have to wait in other room because this time you're just going home straight and then you have to wait for five days for the result they will send it by email so you have to check your email after five days to see the result and the certificate is, is still same time like seven days you have to wait for it they will deliver it to you through mail and what they call this what else so they made these some changes because of this due to coronavirus pandemic to make sure those people who work there and of course those who those applicants who come coming in there it's gonna be safe it's better to be safe than sorry so I can understand why they do it it's different setup but in a safest way my, my only advice to you guys who are going to take this exam just prepare yourself watch watch some video online what to expect but I think it's more or less tension when you taking this exam through video call because you're not face to face 
with the examiner <laughs> because me when I had my exam it's not I'm not it's not that I'm so nervous but it give you a little bit of tense feeling like oh what, what's the que what's the next question you were gonna ask you know something like that it makes you feel oh what what is it what is it I hope I can answer it but it will it will be okay I guess you know as long as you know you know your topic form of course you have to choose those topic that you can easily engage and don't worry about if you are don't worry about if you cannot understand the question just just make sure as nicely like I'm sorry could you please repeat the question for me something like that because by that it means you trying you trying your best and trying is not bad you know it means you are capable to act isn't it <laughs> you know guys I'm not good in English I'm not really like a very clever person and you know like talking so fast but I can tell that I could understand anyway and English is not our first language so it's okay to have mistake and don't be embarrassed about it because like what I always said like me I'm not English but look I can speak two languages which is my Tagalog language and what I'm talking now what I'm what I'm speaking now you know it doesn't matter if you make mistake it's not it's not a big deal everyone makes mistake see what I did now even to pronounce it <laughs> everyone makes mistake <laughs> okay let's take three everyone makes mix i think i got a problem with the saying with the s you know a bit, i'm a bit struggling to say it so let's try it again so everyone makes mistakes oh i got it now <laughs> so don't worry about it as long as you can engage in the conversation of course it doesn't need to be perfect but I think the examiner give you points when you react on the question when you reply to it and when you interrupt that's the best point and like what I said in my previous video it's not about him who keep asking you question you should engage and ask him too and by that he will see that you're capable on what you're doing and I, and I guess he will pass it straight away give you AA <laughs> and anyway let's let's just finish this video now see you you see what I mean even sometimes when I speak like <laughs> my, my tongue is getting twisted <laughs> Uh, so let's finish let's finish finish some of the language <laughs> some of the pronunciation let's finish this video now and I hope this video will help you guys and those people who are going to take the exam don't so worry about it prepare yourself it's only a matter of preparation if you don't prepare it's up to you you want to waste your time you want to waste your money but if you're good in English there's nothing to worry about it so I hope guys you en you enjoy watching this I hope guys you get some information about my video and good luck good luck to all of you who 
going to take this exam. This exam is very important, especially when you're taking ILR, indefinite leave to remain visa. It's a one. It's one of the requirements. So good luck, guys, and see you in my next video. Keep safe, everyone, and God bless. Bye.